What is going on everyone? Platinum Beast coming at you with yet another video today. Today we're going to be talking about how you need to be stacking like an old man. Yes, that's right. Stack like an old man. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, everybody, so stack like an old man. What am I talking about? Platinum bees, have you lost your daggum mind? Well, no, I haven't, but I think we can learn something from our aged or seasoned, if you will, stackers. <laughs> yes, indeed, we can learn something from our seasoned stackers. What can we learn? What is it, Platinum Beast? What are you talking about? Well, if you yourself are a seasoned stacker, maybe you can relate to this, and maybe you can't. And if you can't, let me know down below. But nonetheless, we need to be stacking like old men stackers. And what does that mean? Well, stacking is a very fun way to invest your money. Yes, I said invest because you're taking your money, you're putting it in something, that's an investment. Whether you're investing in your own well-being, your money, your assets, your whatever, right? Whatever you put your money into, you're investing it. Whether it gives you a return or not, that's another story. But we are investing when we are buying precious metals. We're investing in the idea that these metals will go up in value over time or will protect our the value of our money or whatever your reasoning is. But today I'm specifically talking about how we need to be stacking like old men, okay? So how do you do that? How do you stack like an old man? Well, one way to go about it is just to continue stacking. Stack and stack and stack. I can't tell you how many times I've heard from someone who has watched one of my videos and commented or whatever that said, you know, you should see my stack. Or they've sent me pictures in the emails of their stack. Or they've just mentioned how much they have. And they say, oh, Platinum Beast, I was stacking platinum back in the 90s. I was stacking gold back in the 80s. Whatever the case may be, their stack has grown so exponentially large, it's unbelievable. I can think of right now, Uncle Sal, Salivate Metals, shout out that guy, he's an awesome dude. You should definitely go check out his channel. But Salivate Metals did a video recently showcasing his entire gold stack, and oh my goodness. He might have the biggest gold stack on YouTube. He may. He may very well. I think he's got over 200 ounces or something insane. So just an absolute phenomenal stack. I don't know how old Uncle Sal is, but you can kind of guesstimate based upon some of the purchases that he made and showcased in that video. He showed pieces he got for way too low of a price. I can't even imagine gold being that cheap. And so he must have been stacking for quite a while, so he must be at least a little bit aged, right? We'll call it 40s, 50s, whatever right? I'm not calling him a super old man, but he's old enough to have been stacking for, we'll say, decades, okay? And we need to be stacking like them. Even if you're old, even if you're young, it doesn't matter when you start stacking, but you need to start stacking like the old men. So, what does that mean? Well, as y'all know, I've just been picking stuff up constantly, right? I've been back on YouTube for about six months, and all I've done is just pick up stuff after stuff after stuff. Now, a lot of the, what I've picked up has been fractional, and a lot of people tell me on YouTube, Platinum Beast, don't buy fractionals. It's not worth it. The premium's too high. It's, it's a ripoff. It's this, that, and the other, right? But, once again, referencing that video that Uncle Sal made, he showcased a whole variety of gold. He didn't just buy gold eagles or gold buffaloes or gold Canadian maple leaves or whatever and just put them in tubes and just keep stacking the same dang thing left and right over and over and over again. No, he picked up what he liked over time and ultimately his stack grew. Whether he picked up a very small piece of gold such as this Dos Pesos or perhaps a small platinum piece he picked it up because he liked it and he wanted it. That's why I picked up this Dos Pesos. If I wanted to save premium, I wouldn't have picked this up. It's a bit higher of a premium piece because it's so small. But 
a lot of those pieces he had, he still had the original retail sticker on it. And I can go back and find the receipt that I paid for this coin and take a look at it, print it out, put it with this coin, and then 20 years from now, where's the price gonna be? I don't really know, you don't really know, nobody really knows, but I do kinda wish I was like him <laughs> and was buying way, way, way back in the day. So that's what I'm trying to get at with this video is we need to be stacking like old men. We need to be acquiring metals and we need to be buying and buying and buying. I'm not saying put all your money into it. That's not what I do at all. I section off a portion of my budget every month and I pick up what I like and I just add over time. And over time, my stack has grown and grown and grown. If you saw six months ago, what my full stack video was, I don't know if it was six or three or four or whatever months ago, it's grown even since just then. So I can't even imagine what it's gonna be like years down the line. So that's what we need to be doing. We need to be stacking like old men. We need to just be acquiring and not worrying so much about the premium. Now I'm not saying go out and just waste money on premium. That's not what I do and that's not what I would suggest. But if you see something you like and you just can't live without it or you really want it, get it. Why not? I mean, how many things do we spend money on in our lives that we no longer have or have just gotten their use out of, right? I don't buy extremely expensive clothes, but I buy nice clothes sometimes, and those clothes get worn out, and eventually they get all used up, and I donate them, or I sell them to some thrift store or something to make a buck or two, and they're gone, and they're no longer in my possession, and 99% of that money, if not 100% of that money, is gone. I'll never see it again, and that's that. I mean, everybody needs clothes, so don't get me wrong. Don't go walking around the streets naked. I don't wanna see anybody end up in jail, but you get the gist, right? We're making purchases, we're buying what we like, we're enjoying it, and we're just gonna have to slowly watch over time our stacks grow to what some of these seasoned or age stackers have grown to since they started stacking. It's never too late to get into stacking, in my opinion. It might be able to be timed just right. You know, if, if, if a precious metal's on a dip, you can get in and buy, whatever. I try to do that as best I can, but I don't focus too much on it. Just stack, accumulate, and watch it grow over time. It's as simple as that. That's what the season stackers did. That's what the old stackers did. That's what the age stackers did. And that is what I'm going to do. And if anybody was curious, I am in my 30s, so I'm not quite aged, but I'm not quite a youngster either. So with that being said, I'm going to stack. And when I'm going to be old one day, I'll get to look back and see on all that I've accumulated. But don't get too discouraged if you know you come through a drought and you say, oh, I can't buy anything, let me sell this so I can get what I want. No, 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 we need to avoid doing that to the best of our ability. We need to stay strong and stay focused on just simply acquiring over time. And if we miss something, there's always something new coming out right around the corner. So don't get too bummed out. For those of y'all who have been a part of my live streams, you know I'm really eyeing that new Australian Perth Mint Koala Kangaroo Kookaburra Tricoin. I really want it, but I'm willing to wait. And if I miss out, that's okay. There'll be something cool next year. So with all that being said, I appreciate y'all stopping by and checking out the video. Be sure to hit the like button on your way out. Hit that subscribe button so you can always stay up to date with future updates on the Platinum Beast channel. With all that being said, until next time, we'll see y'all.